And welcome back, this is Bellascope with another episode of Let's Play StarCraft 2. I need to be quiet again. Marcus Finley. <laughs> nice suit. Pays to be prepared. I heard they put you on ice. Live sentence. What? To give you time off for good behavior? That's right, old buddy. I'm a model citizen now. So, to what do I owe the pleasure? Just a friendly business proposition. Do you even know what the Dominion are doing out here? I'm guessing you're about to tell me. Digging up alien artifacts, old buddy. Your boy Minsk has gone crazy for them. But I got a contact that'll pay top dollar for every artifact we liberate from the Dominion. I guess I can hardly pass that up now. Can I, Tychus? Partners, then. 60-40. 70-30. My way. <laughs> Feels like old times already. Old times. And entered Tychus. Alright, so uh, apparently Minsk is after some, uh, after some alien artifacts. So we don't know exactly what they are yet. What is this swill? Is it good? Apparently not. What's up, Tychus? Call me curious, but how'd you get out? Well, I busted out of my cryo-freezer while they were transporting me to New Folsom. Oh, I must have killed at least a dozen guards with my bare hands. <laughs> yeah, I've heard this one before. But you left out the part where you walked on water. Made off with the warden's daughter. Don't you get up, buddy, with me, boy. I heard all about you becoming a big-time freedom fighter while I was away. What happened, Jimmy? The war for truth and justice get too much for you. I ain't licked yet, Tychus. And I promise you, Minsk is going down, one way or another. So yeah. And then here's a picture of Kerrigan, who is actually kind of our enemy now, but yeah. She wasn't always. Sarah. Sometimes, I think it would have been better if you just It probably would have. It probably would have. Just saying. And here's the Viking that we just fought. This looks recent. Is your doing, Jimmy? Folks in these parts are ready to fight back against Maxx. Guess they just needed a little push. You still take this whole revolution thing pretty serious, then? Everyone needs a hobby, Tychus. They're... They're quite cool. Uh, not very... Well, they are relatively useful, but not as useful as I think the, the programmers had originally intended. Let's watch the news! This is Donnie Vermillion, live from the UNN Studios on Core Hall. We've got a breaking story for you. 
Let's go live to our own Kate Lockwell on the fringe world of Marsara. Kate? Thanks, Donnie. Rebel Jim Rayner has reappeared in a big way. He's attacked a Dominion Depot near Backwater Station, seizing weapons and distributing them to the local populace. Kate, I bet the locals are pretty nervous about having a notorious outlaw in their neighborhood. Actually, Donnie, the people I talked to seemed really encouraged thanks, by the... Kate. You heard it here first. Jim Rayner terrorizing the locals on Marsala. When we return, are your kids using skin packs? Keep talking, pal. I'm just getting started. Yeah, you you you'll get that eventually that uh no. Azur Shaco and you. Uh you'll find out that the the anchor on uh on the news stations is uh kind of against Rainer for whatever reason. All right, let's go ahead and head off to the next mission. If I remember this one's the easiest one. Thanks to your actions, Masara is now in a state of open revolt against Arcturus Minsk. Ex-convict Tychus Findlay has revealed the Dominion came to Marsara to excavate an alien artifact. Seizing the artifact will strike another blow against the Dominion and generate funds from selling it to Findlay's mysterious contacts. Awesome. So yes, w we start getting money, we get credits in this game. We need to retrieve the Zelnaga artifact. Hopefully, we can find out what that actually is. This old outpost don't look like anything special. Keep your shit on, son. The Minion Engineer's been digging out here for months. See that crane? They're getting ready to move the artifact they found off-world. Well, I'll be damned. See? You gotta have a little more faith, Jimmy. All right. Time to give the Dominion a wake-up call. Let's smash that base and haul that baby out of there. Ah, oh, they've got Hellions. All right, now, a very important part of all these missions is actually knowing when they're going to attack. And I have forgotten completely. I have no idea when they're going to attack me. So, I might say it a few times during this one. But this one I remember being very, very easy. Even on Brutal, I did not have much of a problem. I think the hardest problem I had was trying to get this within the time limit that it required in order to get the achievement. I don't remember the objectives themselves being very difficult. But the Zelnaga artifact, they don't really go over it, but I believe they are technically Protoss art artifacts. Um, but I could be wrong, and I could, uh, they could be something else entirely. Alright, SCVs mine for me. You start building that, you go there, I can not get a tech lab yet. So you go there, you're my number five, you're not my number four. Train them up at the barracks. While we're at it, extra SCVs will help us harvest minerals faster. Train them up at the command center. So yeah, SCVs and Marines, what a concept. Alright, then another one there. Another one there. And almost enough. Let's get that refinery up. Am I going to have enough? Oh, snap! I forgot I need supply depots. I didn't think I wouldn't require them that early. Alright. You build me a, a supply depot. I, yeah, it just didn't occur to me because I don't have to make supply depots that early in a normal game that I would need them that early. Let's get two. Just two for now. You know, my old timings are going to be a little bit off for a little bit. Just a little bit. Alright, come on, come on. This guy's probably going to be building supply depots for the rest of the game. I'm just calling that right now. Alright, now hopefully you yeah, bunch up for me. Alright, and five, once that's done, I don't want to build another marine. I want to go for a tech lab this time. Hopefully this is what I need to do. Yeah, right about there. Yeah, so far so good. We're, we're doing, so, doing well so far. Don't get all the upgrades that I would like, so that's why they only give you one gas. You don't really need it. Alright. 
Now, I want a medic because I am short on medics at the moment. This is almost done. Do I have enough? Just enough. Go for it. I don't have enough to, to get a second barracks going yet. I need more SCVs. As you can see, I'm doing pretty good in terms of gas right now. Probably should have gotten a medic instead. But that's okay. That's okay for now. But as long as I keep making SCVs, that's the important thing right now. That is the most important thing. Yeah, we'll go for another one. I know how far ahead I am. But that will change shortly. Yeah. And there we go, the first little wave of attack. I don't think any of my guys died. I don't see any blood on the field for them. But I do want another medic. Ready. You know, for, for when that does happen. You want to... I always tend to make more medics than I actually need. Um, let's go for just a marine right now. Still not ready for a second barracks, though. Still just trying to produce as much mineral income as I can. Let's get another medic. I think I'm I think we're ready. Not enough minerals. Yeah, that's alright. If we if we're a little behind on those. And then this becomes my new number five. Put them right there. And we're good. We're good again. Let's go for a marine this time. So yeah, fun stuff. I don't think... Right? I don't think there's anything up to here. Now there is! Ah, get little mineral patches. We can put them right there. Ah, crap. Good. That'll keep the Dominion off our backs. Those folks need our help, Tiger. Alright, let's go There's and no build another one. Uh, Alright. I don't know if we're ready, but I'm going for it. These guys are my new number one. You guys are coming down. With these medics, it should make things pretty simple. They took them out by themselves? What the hell? Oh, I lost a marine. No. Alright, A, A. Auto saving. Alright, shift. There. There. It's Rainer's boy. There. Kick the Dominion's ass. Dominion can go to hell. Alright, no problem. No problem. Let's pick up these minerals. And then five and shift click. That's my new five. You guys all go there. A A E. Or make me another SCV. I think there's more back here that you can get. Yeah. What's going on? Five plus that one. Five. You there? No. Okay. Sure. The doctor is in. All right. And we're good. We're good again. Good on production. Complete. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim for a three, mar three marines, one medic production line here. I could probably... Screw it. Make another one. Make two more. And then once you guys are done, go back to mining. Can you guys build anything else? No. Okay. So we're good. I was thinking maybe they could build a ref 
uh, an engineering bay, but that's not till later. All right, so we got five racks up apparently. All right, and that one. So we got. Oh, sorry, we got six racks. Because why not have six racks? How good are we on uh, saturation? Oversaturated. That is not what I like to see. Alright, A A A E. Okay. They don't all need tech labs, of course. You can't learn anything at them. But I like putting tech labs on them because there's really no reason not to. What am I doing? I don't need any more SCVs. The doctor is in. Now, it's not a set number of what you're going to be fighting against, so really the earlier you can attack, the better in terms of um, what you're going to fight. And I'm getting pretty close to where I want to fight them. So let's queue up a few more, and then we can head out. Thank you. The bad guys are this way. You heard them. Now I should be able to take these guys out, no problem, right? Even with the Hellions. Hellions are going to be strong against your Marines. And the medic, uh, the bunker though, the bunker. Alright, let's, let's get everybody firing on this. Basically, you don't always want to A-click. Sometimes you want to just right-click or move them forward. Alright, and stop there. That way you guys can all shoot. Simple enough. No problems. I rescued the rebels, so that's the bonus objective done. You want to kill off the, the fire bats when they show up and the hellions when they show up. Okay, now we can just A-click. Keep going. Keep producing. Why not? This guy, he doesn't really need to build anymore, but he's... He's not doing anything else that's more important. And then just a click past that point. Somebody kill him. Yeah, micro's not too important this early on. Otherwise, I'd be focusing down the factory, focusing down the command center, something like that. It's just not that important. I'm going 4 2 right now. Um. But that's still too many medics, to be honest with you. Alright, everything's everything's copacetic. We're good here. And down goes that one, and down it goes, and that's the mission. Easy enough. Crane controls accessed. Decrypting security overrides. Crane control established. Beautiful. Now let's reel that sucker in and get out of So yeah, woo, all done. Um, I I wouldn't have gotten the the achievement for being under ten minutes, as you can see, twelve twenty nine. It's not that much difficult, not much more different. Um, I didn't pick up all the the pallets either. Just needed to attack earlier. I probably would I probably would have gotten it if I did attack earlier. And yeah. So there you go. The outlaws done. We got our first Zelnaga artifact. I can guarantee you it's not our last one. There is a cutscene after this, so we'll get to the point where we can just start selecting stuff and I'll do it for the rest of these videos. Joey Ray's ball. Or not. Apparently there's no cutscene after this, so sweet. Spending credits. Once you get to the ar yeah, once you get access to the armory, which we don't have access to yet. So Yeah, that's actually going to do it for this part of Let's Play StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty. I've been Baller Scuba. I hope you have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.